Hi, I'm Isaiah, and in this brand new series, Deciphering Viral Verses, we're going to take a deep dive into what verses more accurately mean. Now, today's verse, Matthew 7, 1, is about getting judgy. Now, Matthew 7, 1 is, do not judge, or you too will be judged. But let's look at a few more translations, too. There's one, judge not, that you be not judged. And judge not that ye be not judged. And don't pick on people. Jump on their failures. Criticize their faults. Unless you want the same treatment. So what does that sound like to you? I mean, to a lot of people, this verse just means that we should never judge. Because then you should be judged. It kind of just discourages all judgment. And to be fair, it probably clearly was taken this way by who was hearing it when it was originally said. In the chapter that we're in, chapter 7, It's just one section of a speech that Jesus is giving called the Sermon on the Mount. And this is an important part of the Bible because it is the longest recorded sermon by Jesus that we have. And it's an outstanding way that Jesus established himself and especially as an authority figure for the Jewish people. Now, the author of the book of Matthew was a tax collector and one of Jesus's closest friends. His name was Matthew and he was raised Jewish in a very regimented and religious way. A way of life that tends to create some judgy people. Now, this is important to remember, so remember this next part. Jewish law, like the law that Matthew learned, had been taught by a guy named Moses who received some of the very important laws from God while he was on a mountain. And all the while, Jewish people are trying to follow these rules and regulations and judging each other. The other side of Jewish religion that's very important is that they are waiting for a messiah, a savior of mankind. Well, Jesus taught this sermon on a mount just like Moses did, which the Jewish people would have been very familiar with. But instead, Jesus was saying things like, for truly, I tell you. So instead of receiving word from God, he was portraying that he is God there to teach them. So now that we know that Matthew 7, 1 is about part of what Jesus has said, let me clarify also that at the beginning of the book of Matthew, Matthew does just start off by claiming that Jesus is the Messiah that he and the Jewish people have been waiting for. Now we know this is a very important speech that we're reading. So let's read the full context of the section. This whole section is about judging others, not just this one viral verse. And we know Jesus opened with the verse, do not judge or you too will be judged. But he continues. He says, for in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the same measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye and when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the plank out of your eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Do not give dogs what is sacred. Do not throw your pearls to pigs. If you do, they may trample them under their feet and then turn and tear you to pieces. So what does Matthew 7, 1 really mean in this broader context? I mean, it's encouraging us to not judge. I mean, yeah, but because learning what is good and right and wanting to judge people isn't the point. Realistically, we're still going to end up judging others. But if we're going out of our way and wanting to judge, we're missing something. But what are we missing? Well, Jesus gives us the answer to that too. So far, we've heard that Matthew says in the beginning of the book of Matthew, hey, guys, Jesus is God. And through the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus presents himself as God. But what we haven't talked about is why Jesus is sitting on this mount, teaching and trying to show people that he is God. Well, spoiler alert for the climax of the book of Matthew, but Jesus sacrifices his life for our sin because he is God and is the only person that has the power to do that. He also rises from the dead, but through this, (laughs) Jesus redeems humanity of the messy things we just can't help but do, like unfairly judging people. So Matthew 7, 1 introduces us to the idea that we shouldn't need to judge people because we don't actually have the final say. God does. And for our own benefit then, Outside of when you need to express judgment on people, focus on how if you're finding yourself wanting to judge people, it's time to acknowledge that you're not the ultimate judge here. Jesus is. God is. So I hope that you stay encouraged and reminded that how you are truly judged is in the eyes of God. And so if you believe in him, you are saved. I hope that you enjoyed clearing up what this viral verse more accurately means. 
If you enjoyed this content and are looking forward to next week's viral verse to be deciphered, please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you next week.